Well, welcome, everyone. It is time for evening prayer at the end of a busy day at St. Peter's. We had uh, a, a great time with our... Oh, it's doing that thing to me again. Here we go. There we are. Um, we had a wonderful uh, Bible study, morning prayer Bible study, noonday prayers in Spanish. We had uh, people in and out all over the place for uh, our outreach ministries on top of the fact that our supper crew was up and running actually when I left the church at 3.30 to get home so I could eat dinner early so I could get back after doing evening prayer to teach confirmation class. But, you know, we don't do much at St. Peter's from Sunday to Sunday. So what can you say to that? If you are with us for evening prayer, we're so glad to welcome you home to St. Peter's. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. If you are signing on on the YouTube channel, we're glad to have you as well. Please do follow us and uh, and you will be, I'm sorry, I flipped that around. Follow us on Facebook, like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications on YouTube. Yes, it has been a long day for me. Um, please do include Include your uh, intercessions in the live chat if you're watching on Facebook or in the comments after the fact. We monitor those as well. And then please do offer your intercessions and thanksgivings in the context of the remarks on YouTube. I was, uh, I'm always looking for a novel piece of artwork for us. And uh, we're going to hear from Laura in Paul's First Light of the Corinthians on the institution of the Eucharist. There are two early teachings of the Eucharist. One is, of course, the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. It's the earliest record we have outside of the Gospels of, of the Memorial Supper. Actually, it is as it was celebrated in the early church. The other is the Didache. And I was looking for a good depiction of the Eucharist. Everybody's familiar with the Last Suppers of da, da Vinci and the others. Well, here is one by a rather obscure French artist on a wood panel. So unfortunately, that causes some distortion. One of the figures, it looks like he's kind of split in half and reassembled. But uh, Jos van Wachenhof um, did this beautiful institution of the Eucharist. And I really like this one. It French shows or Dutch? Jesus... What's that? French or Dutch? Dutch. You said French, I thought. I'm sorry. If I said French, I apologize. I meant Dutch. <laughs> I'm really on all cylinders today. Had to correct that, sorry. Yep, not a problem. <laughs> so that said, I will draw your attention to the fact that there is bread and wine on the table, that Jesus himself is actually preferring the Eucharist as it would have been in Yosa's day. Um, and then on top of that, you also see in the foreground, the pitcher and the basin that he used to wash the uh, disciples' feet. So there's a lot going on in this painting. And of course, you also see some donors' pictures in the sidelines there, as well as the angels in array over the entire scene to let you know that it is not only a beautiful biblical painting, but the people who paid for it got their money's worth. All right, we are ready for evening prayer. Here we go. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me and the light around me turn to night. Darkness is not dark to you, O Lord. The night is as bright as the day. Darkness and light to you are both alike. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the Vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. 
our psalms this evening. We complete our run through the 120s and begin the 130s. I'll offer the odd verses. Please respond with the even. Happy is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit, you shall of, eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy, shall be happy it shall well and it you. shall go well with you. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your house. Your children will be like olive shoots around your table. Thus shall the man be blessed, Thus shall the the man be blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see May your, you children. see your oh, children's peace children. Be peace Israel. be upon Israel. Often have they attacked me from my youth, let Israel now say. Often have they attacked me from my youth, yet they have not, youth, prevailed, yet they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed on my back, they made their furrows long. The Lord is righteous. The Lord is righteous. He has cut the cords of the wicked. May all who hate Zion be put to shame and turned backward. Let them be like Let the grass, be like on, the the grass on the housetop the before, it grows up. before it grows up. With which reapers do not fill their hands or binders of sheaves their arms. All those who pass by, all those do, who not pass by do not say, the blessing of the Let Lord the be Lord upon be you. Glory. We bless we you, bless you in, the in the name of the Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, if you, should, mark o Lord should mark iniquities, Lord, Lord, who, Lord, could, who stand? could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord. Waits. My soul in waits. His word, I in hope. his word, I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, o Israel hope, in hope in the Lord. For with, for the, with Lord, the Lord is there is steadfast love, love and with him is great, power, him to is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be answerable for the body and blood of the Lord. Examine yourselves and only then eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For all who eat and drink without discerning the body, eat and drink judgment against themselves. For this reason, many of you are weak and ill, and some have died. But if we judged ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we may not be condemned along with the world. So then, my brothers and sisters, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. If you are hungry, eat at home, so that when you come together, it will not be for your condemnation. About the other things, I will give instructions when I come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening, a song of Judith, together. I will sing a new song to my God, for you are great and glorious, wonderful in strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came into being. You sent your breath and it formed them. No one is able to resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who fear you, you continue to show mercy. No sacrifice, however fragrant, can please you. But whoever fears the Lord shall stand in your sight forever. A reading from Luke. The disciples of John reported all these things to him. 
So John summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us two to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus had just then cured many people of diseases, plagues, and evil spirits, and had given sight to many who were blind. And he answered them, go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have good news brought to them, and blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. When John's messengers had gone, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes? Look, those who put on fine clothing and live in luxury are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written, see, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John, yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And all the people who heard this, including the tax collectors, acknowledged the justice of God because they had been baptized with John's baptism. But by refusing to be baptized by him, the Pharisees and the lawyers rejected God's purpose for themselves. To what then will I compare the people of this generation and what are they like? They're like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another. We played the flute for you and you did not dance. We wailed and you did not weep. For John the Baptist has come eating no bread and drinking no wine and you say he has a demon. The son of man has come eating and drinking, and you say, look, a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Nevertheless, wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, a song of Christ's humanity. Though in the form of God, Christ Jesus did not cling to equality with God, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Grant us your, salvation. Grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing, Let with, your joy. People sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you, can we, only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us, and in, the guide us in the way of truth. justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. You are saving, saving health all among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken, taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. 
and, and sustain, us, sustain with us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we, than we to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and meditation of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O oh God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead, we thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us into safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose again for us, your son, our savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love and a companionship with one another, your abundant grace. I'm sorry, abounding grace may increase among us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. I ask for God's mercy and compassion for all who suffer from mental illness, that they be granted some rest and some strength and some peace. We continue to pray for the repose of the soul of Terry Saruda and for the consolation of her spouse, Susan and their family and children. Give thanks for her ministry, her life, and her witness. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for being with us. Uh, and uh, just a reminder that we will be together for morning prayer tomorrow, but we will not be together for evening prayer tomorrow, nor will we be together for morning prayer on Monday. Um, just be aware of that. Actually, there's no there's no prayer on Monday because it's a holiday. I apologize. Check that again. So Which we'll be together holiday? on Tuesday morning. Yes, it's Indigenous Peoples Day. So Silly me. There you go. Well, anyway, in any event, please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. For all of you who are perusing evening prayer, we have had a sharp uptick in the number of people who are checking it out. Deeply appreciate it. Hope it is efficacious and feeding for you. We are honored to welcome you. I saw snacks patrolling around and uh, we hey. have Chapel Caddy who is attending the services. Monty, do you okay, Allison? Uh, he's sleeping. Uh, he's okay. He's good. <laughs> You know, back in the days of the early monks, they would excuse the elder monks from the uh, more strenuous 
activities of yeah. prayer in the yeah. chapel. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, we'll give them a pass from time to time. when you oh, Okay. Not. <laughs> in any event, take care. God bless. We will see you soon. Bye now. Bye-bye. <laughs>